The Players Golf Tournament tees off next week and it is a long-standing tradition with opportunities honoring our military members, veterans, and of course their families as well. So there are at least 220,000 veterans in the greater Jacksonville area. That is a lot of service men and women, people that we owe a lot to. One in four people in Northeast Florida are active military veterans or family members of veterans. So on Saturday, the military job fair will begin with 25 companies. Joining us this morning to talk all about this, Bill Hickey with the Jacksonville Military Veterans Coalition and Howard Wanamaker, Clay County Manager. Good morning to you both. Good morning. So listen, in the area, Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia, we have so many veterans as well as their family members, and a lot of them are, are looking for great opportunities. They have this unique skill set and they can transfer that over to really help the community, but sometimes they just need somebody to bridge that gap. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We have a, a lot of military members, and when you're first coming out of active duty, you've never really, a lot of people have never really had to seek a job. They've never had to do interviews. And we, uh, 11 years ago, we got together and tried to figure out the best way to serve military members and veterans who may be just looking for their perfect job. Uh, how can we line them up with great companies such as Amazon or Boeing or UPS, I mean, big major companies, as well as you know, JSO, JFRD, a lot of the local uh, uh, areas and organizations that come up with jobs for veterans that really need help connecting the, the veterans with those companies. Yeah, and Howard, a lot of times we see that it's easy for them to transition into government jobs. It is, yes, I'm a prime example of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell you, it's a, a wonderful opportunity to go out there. It's a great location. Um, there are great companies that will be out there, including Clay County. Uh, we have plenty of jobs that we're hiring for, uh, from public works to facilities, uh, to both the sheriff's department, the fire department, uh, you name it. Um, and when some, when a military veteran, uh, or, uh, active duty that's looking to transition and, and, or even their spouse or dependents, anyone that's looking for a job that's tied to the military in that way, uh, we have a job for them. And, uh, we look forward to talking to them, interviewing them and hiring them on the spot. Hiring on the spot, that's always a good opportunity right there. No wait time. So, Bill, let's talk about the logistics here. What do our veterans and their family members need to know? What's going to really set them ahead and make sure that they are on the right path to getting that perfect career for them? Uh, the best thing to do is, uh, the, first of all, the job fair is from 10 to 1 on Saturday. So come dressed a business casual. You don't have to be in full suit and tie or, or you know, business wear, but Bring your resume, a current copy of your resume. And if you're not sure if you've got the, you know, everything lined up for the best way a resume looks, we can have people that'll sit down with you and help you tailor your resume to fit the, the job you're looking for. So come with a great attitude, which all veterans have. Come with your resume and come ready to start working soon. Yeah, and sometimes it means coming with an, with an open mind as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There are a million different types of opportunities because we've had people walk in and think, I just want this one specific type of job. And then they see companies like maybe they were looking for a job in law enforcement, but they see that Clay County is hiring folks that, you know, also fits their skill set. So that we want to make sure they're open minded because there are a lot of different types of opportunities available at the job fair. Sure, absolutely. And I want to pull up that slate with the details one more time so that everybody gets it. Maybe you take a picture with your phone. The Patriots Outpost, so that that's there at TPC Sawgrass, correct? Yes, it's right uh, behind the off the 16th fairway and kind of behind the 18th green. So it's right in that little valley in between 16 and 18. And it's a, a magnificent location. All right. Yeah. And a great way to get a preview of the course that the players are going to be on come next week as well. Thank you both, Bill and Howard. We appreciate your time. Appreciate what you're doing in the community. And of course, for everyone at home, Thank you. if you miss this information, if you have a loved one with military ties, you want to share it with them. Go to newsforjacks.com, look for the players tab. We've got it right there. You can share it with them, put it on social media, let your friends and family members know.